letter sent to the Johnston Police Department outlined threats against the elementary schools in Johnston, Cranston and Warwick. As police continue to work to find suspects, the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency is hosting its annual school safety conference. And NBC10's Tony Gugliotta joins us this noon hour from that conference in Warwick. Tony? Well, Frank, the new threats, certainly the overwhelming theme of today's conference here at the Crown Plaza is hundreds of school superintendents, law enforcement officials, and teachers on hand to discuss the safety policies and share ideas on how to continue to work to keep the schools safe. Now, this conference was not called because of these threats on three local communities, but they were discussed at length, and officials say they are continuing to be vigilant in ensuring the safety of the students and the staff. Extremely important people from all over the country uh, talking about the safety of our schools, um, the importance of it, and how we must stay vigilant on it, and must be how we stay prepared. Our police department is extremely uh, receptive uh, uh, to our calls and to our needs. We work very closely with them. Uh, we recently got assigned a school resource officer. Uh, police visit our schools every day on a rotating basis. Now, coming up later on NBC 10 News, you'll hear from a parent and former teacher at Sandy Hook Elementary School and her reaction to the threats here in Rhode Island. We'll see you then. Live in Warwick, Tony Gugliotta, NBC 10 News.